Many Nigerians woke up this morning to the very sad, heartbreaking and devastating news of the death of Ifain, the three-year-old son of music star Davido and Shoma Roland. Very sad development to, I mean, this the death of Ifain is coming on the back of other tragedies, you know, that have been in the news lately. The, the sad story of um, Ebo George, the Azerbaijan blogger who was killed, you know, by bandits a few few days, few weeks ago. There's a sad story of the Casina State Government House steward, uh, Lawa Dahiru, who was killed even after five million ransom had been paid. And there's a story of the two miners that were killed in a mining site at Olamaburo local government area in Kogi State. And there's the story, the tragic story, of 11 passengers traveling from Imo to Kanu who were burned to death when their bus, you know, had a head-on collision with a stationary vehicle, you know, that led to the bus catching fire and passengers dying. Tragedies upon tragedies upon tragedies, all very sad and troubling. But exactly what... Uh, can we do about tragedies and what can the grieving families do about these tragedies? Uh, Jordan Peterson has an interesting take and as a clinician he provides some helpful hints. Jordan Peterson provides some helpful hints as to what those grieving may do, you know, in putting this whole matter of their tragedies in perspective and moving on. Take a listen. We know that thoughts that are associated with self-consciousness are statistically indistinguishable from experiences of negative emotion. So it's literally the case that the more you think about yourself, the more unhappy you are. Unhappy, anxious, grief-stricken, frustrated, disappointment, disappointed, hurt. And so then you think, well, where do people find the meaning that helps them abide through tragedy and turn their attention away from themselves, and the answer is, well, we don't even have to introduce God into the picture at the moment. You say, well, you find a fair bit of that sustaining meaning through reciprocal relationships. You want to have an intimate relationship of some duration, or it's just a series of short-term, psychopathically narcissistic pit stops, which don't seem to do anyone any good. So you want to have an intimate relationship of some duration. You probably want to have a family at least to have some contact with your parents and your siblings, and perhaps even children, if you dare to do that. Likely you need some friends. You probably need something approximating a job or a career. You have to be nested inside a series of superordinate social structures in order to be a functioning individual at all. 